They gave the horse the slops, and the horse got steaming drunk. I mean, I could come here in my pyjamas, but I think I get a few strange looks, you know what I mean? Today is garlic planting day, I hope. I've actually got space that I'm going to show you where I was growing celery and it's been a complete disaster. So I was having a look at it before I started recording. I thought, will I keep the celery? Will I try and... No, it's all coming out. So I'm going to do that today. But first, I'm just going to go and salt and vinegar my weeds at the front. This couch grass is a nightmare. This will just help to kill it off a wee bit. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wash it all down in the vinegar. It smells great for anybody walking past. <laughs> right, that's them empty. And that's how it's looking so far. Okay, this is the disastrous celery. But the whole corner is a bit of a disaster. It's going to be a nice sunset. I feel like I'm going to be here to see it. You know, it's funny the things that go through your mind when you're doing a job like this, isn't it? I'm sitting here on my own, you know, just, I'm sitting here weeding. And I got reminded of a story I heard. I don't think I should say who told me this story. There was a pub up north further north than this and there was a guy at the bar who had I can't remember what happened to him but he was like this like the whole top half of him was in thank you was in a plaster cast so he's standing at the bar you know can't move right or left or not just can't move just I think somebody to help him you can get the drink I, I don't know so he's, he's like this. Now for some reason, this is only a quite small pub, for some reason, somebody had let a horse into the bar. And they decided, and I don't know if you know this, but when, you know, when you, when they pour the drinks, the extras, the spills, you know how things spill over, they go into a bucket called slops. They gave the horse the slops. And the horse got steaming drunk. So here's this man, like this. Here's the horse, but he can't turn around to see the horse. Next thing, the horse turns around and starts biting his arm with a plaster cast. He's screaming for help. Nobody can help for laughing. I don't, know, I don't even know what happened in the end. I think the time I was told that story, I was laughing that much about the horse. I don't know if he's trying to eat the plaster cast. I mean, he was drunk. The horse was drunk. I think eventually he just took it out the back and put it back where it should have been. And it had a hell of a hangover the next day. Apparently it drank quite a lot. Built a crowd cabbage. That's not what I thought I'd put in here. Well, that puts a different spin on the situation entirely. I talk a lot about spreading sorrow and there's a reason for that. <laughs> there's a very good reason for that because I get a lot of it and it's, it's very good at spreading. But here's a question for the gardeners. I'm assuming you're a gardener if you're watching this, but if you're watching it, how many of you start thinking I'm going to do one job and you end up doing something else completely different. Why? How do you get so distracted? Bird. <laughs> yeah, I planted my garlic here actually last year and there's a video up about us. It. It's, it's, it's here somewhere but not one of them came up. They just all disappeared. Oh, ladybird. So I assume it was so cold, they rotted. Now it's an autumn planting variety that I get, 
prefer to do it in autumn you know so it's got lots of time to build up that bulb that we're after but nothing turned up um and i contacted the company to see if it was just me or if anybody else had had that problem because you know if you get a bad batch you'd assume that they would hear about it from a few people they said no one else had had a problem but they sent me replacement bulbs for the whole the whole lot which i thought was very very nice of them that's customer service you don't get very much now oh that makes me sound old doesn't it flipping egg when you start moaning about that you know you've got a few years on you i wish i had my allotment in my back garden it would be really tidy if i could just if you could just nip out to your plot in your pajamas i mean i could come here in my pajamas but i think i get a few strange looks you know what i mean I once camped on a beach for a week and the first day we got there we were swarmed but only for the first couple of days and then what we noticed was that as other people arrived on the beach because believe it or not there was quite there ended up quite a lot of us living on this beach um but as new people arrived pheasant the midges would go to them. So bear that in mind. If you are camping somewhere in Scotland or just visiting and you get swarmed by midges, they get used to you after a couple of days and then they go looking for new blood. They'll leave you alone. Also helps if you have a campfire because they don't like the smoke. Big smoky fire, they don't like that. Just a wee side note, if you are thinking of growing lemon balm, you might want to cut it before it flowers. Because once it flowers, it goes everywhere. When I go on YouTube and I see other people's plots, they always look so much tidier than mine. I'll have to not let that bother me. It does bother me sometimes, but... Right, I'm going to say that's ready. I've taken out most of the weeds. They're going to be covered up what's left anyway. I've cut back the chamomile. I once heard chamomile called chamomile. I prefer that. So I'm going to put... I had some bags of new compost. I'm going to put that down first, put the garlic in it, Renewed over the top and call that done. Put this down. So here's the garlic I'm going to put in first. This is rose white. I'm going to break it all up first so I can get the individual cloves. Then I can show you how we space them out. So that's my two bulbs separated and spaced out. You want about six inches in between each clove. And when you plant them, if you haven't done it before see that bit there that's going into the ground so the wee fat stubby end that goes down the way and that goes to the top i'm just going to make a little hole and put it there now i am going to be covering these up with manure i'm going to just leave that bit there so i can see where they all are right i'm just going to quickly put these in to their new compost i'm not going to be able to get them um covered i'll put the manure over them to keep them warm but i want to put make sure i get the right in i want to put an actual cover over it so that they don't rot and disappear this year um i've seen people put cardboard over it 
I think I have some sort of mesh, fleecy, I might put the thermal, like the, the stuff I've got in the carrots over there, I might put that on it. Just something to keep it a little drier, a little warmer, it helps if I put it the right way up. <laughs> Just bury them in. They're going into nice new compost, so that should help as well. Right, well I am calling that done. I've covered it in the manure that we get here. And as you can see, I'm rapidly running out of light, so I'm going to call it quits. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.